So this video is going to cover assigning values to different locations inside of an array. I'm going to start off with the same array. 45, 99, 77, 1, 3, 42. And now this time, um, as you recall last time, what we did is if we were accessing something, the actual array was on the right-hand side of the assignment uh, operator or the equal sign. And so what we did over here got pushed over here. Well, that's when you're accessing stuff. When you're assigning stuff, which is what we're doing now, the array is actually on the left-hand side. So it's actually receiving whatever values on the right-hand side. So if we addressed... Uh, 1 comma 3 and so therefore what's going to happen is <clears throat> the array is actually going to get changed and altered in this and so if we say a at 1 comma 3 equals 0 once again this is you go rows then columns and this is 1 2 3 and row 1 2 3 and so 1 comma 3 is first row third column which is 7 so that's 7 after this is executed is going to get changed to a zero and so coming over here running that in MATLAB we see our original A uh, has a seven up here at one comma three and then now it has a zero after line seven has executed so that's how you can target one particular location now you can also target um, as you expect entire rows um, and entire columns if you wish and so uh, I'm going to have to c uh, comment out lines here because I don't want the changes that we make in one line to propagate through I want you to be able to see each change so if you look at this next line of code what we're doing is on line 8 it says a at 1 colon 1 comma colon but you keep in mind that says the first row all columns and so what should happen is the first row, all columns, should wind up receiving whatever values on the right-hand side. And in this time, it's a 4. So first row, all columns get a 4. So when I execute the script now, you notice that the original A is up here. And then on line 8, A got assigned the first row, all columns in the first row, got assigned the value of 4. So that's how you do a whole row. Uh, commenting that line out and then uncommenting line 9. If we execute that, what this says is this is multiple rows. And so it says that A at 1 colon 2 colon 3, which winds up being, we do A 1 colon 2 colon 3, and then comma colon equals 6. Then this is just rows 1 and 3. So rows 1 and rows 3, all columns are going to get assigned the value 6. And so uh, when I run this, you see that rows 1 and rows 3, all columns, get assigned the value 6. So that's how you do multiple rows. Likewise, you can do multiple columns. I come down here, and we're going to just run line 10. So line 10 says that we're going to do all, all rows the second column. So if original A is up here, we're going to do all rows in the second column. So everything in the second column at 5, at 99, at 3, when I execute line 10, should become the value 67. And it does. So uh, all rows, rows 1, 2, 3, second column, all get the value 67. Likewise, I can choose multiple rows just as I chose multiple columns. And so, excuse me, I can choose multiple columns just like I chose multiple rows. Uh, so here I have uh, Array A, uh, all rows, columns 1 and 3, get the value 81. So when I run this, all rows in columns 1 and 3 get the value 81. Okay. Um, next up, you can do uh, multiple locations, just like we did in the last one. Uh, I'll write this one up here on the board. Uh, so if A we do A at rows 1 and 3, columns 1, comma 2, comma 3, which this just resolves to 1 and 3. And all that, that gets 100. So that's just like we did in the last example. That's going to get row 1, column 1, 
row one, column three, row three, column one, and row three, column three. So those locations are going to get the value 100. So when I execute this, when you see uh, 1131, 13, and 33 all get the value 100. Uh, so that's how you attack multiple cells at one time. You also can do, um, we remember, recall when we did a vector, when we had a vector, if we had a vector A equals 1, 2, and 4, if we said A at 5 got the value 99, then it would zero pad, and so A would become 1, 2, 4, 0, and then 99. Well, we do the same thing with arrays that we did with vectors. And so if we zero pad this, so let's say if we have A at 6, 5. Well, we don't have a 6, 5. That's past the limit. Now, keep in mind, we're not trying to access a value. We're actually um, we're putting a value, assigning a value to a particular location. And so MATLAB is smart enough to pad it. And so it's going to have to. It needs six rows, so it's going to pad one. It's going to pad the number of rows, one, two, three, four, five, until it gets to six. And then it's going to put it in the fifth column. And it's going to have to pad zeros here. One, two, three, until it gets to the fifth column and it's going to put a 99 in there. So what it did is it says A at 5, excuse me, at 6 comma 5 equals 99. So it had to pad, it only had three rows, so it added three more rows. It added three more rows and it added two more columns. And so it zero filled those and it made sure that the value at 6 comma 5 was equal to 99. And sure enough, when I execute this, um, that's what happens. You see it padded it with zeros uh, so that it could set 6, 5 equal to 99.